Uh, <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary Grigsby's War in the East. Let's continue where we left off, but not before I announce a special bonus episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Thomas Off Trillin. And, uh, yeah, let's continue in the Stalingrad area after last episode. I tend to. Let's see here, so... Let's see if I can make this a little bit easier. Yes, I can. All right. Now this will only delay them for some time. Obviously. Um, and it's only uh, relatively small portion. Ah, shit. That's well, fine. All right. Um, one thing that I need to do, first of all, is I need to get them out, but also the 71st with 7% ammunition, like it's no good. 29% is technically doable. That's probably not the greatest of ideas. This should hold it for a bit.
I'll just retake those parts. Um, There is obviously nothing that can go in there. I need to move away. Some of those guys too. I don't expect this to hold. Um, no, I, I should be saying it differently. I don't. Yeah, I don't expect the pocket to hold as it is. Um, But I'll, I will. Do this. I don't think these have to refit, no. not go as amazingly as I might have hoped. of an unfortunate business here I actually Feel like I really need to just kick those guys out here. Um, because I'm just not powerful enough to hold against a Soviet attack and then clear them out. There are many units that need to rest and refit.
The worst of them are like that. Put these guys in here because that way it'll be harder for them to take that out I think they'll focus on that though either which way um, interesting because they can go a lot higher to alleviate some pressure. I actually quite prefer, for example, getting them here. <laughs> okay, I think I know what to do. I'm gonna move you down, split you up two parts into Stalingrad. Will that give me an X? 89, shit. I mean, it's a southern part, it will have to do. Meanwhile, these guys are ready, obviously still quite weak. But it's better than nothing. These guys going close to that headquarters. Right, again, that puts a little bit of stability in it on this side. Back, back. Two Romanian infantry divisions that could potentially form a part of the line. Anything up north will help a lot more. So I'll send them further up. We'll have to reorganize again around that particular area. They really were looking to get cheers that shown. Let's uh, also put these guys in there. But if they want to move down towards Cherniskov and this, I actually kind of don't mind that. Rather have them do that than anything else. Um, Let's have some fun. This is also super disruptive, I think, for, you know, whatever the Soviets want to do. Let's 
Seems like they do have something on that hex. It is uh, there already. Twenty-seven, sixty-three. I'll keep them there. I'll refit either way, but I guess the Ravenna Italian Mountain Division will have to do that. What I can do is smash. Not so much smash, but I guess it's something. They need to pull out. I think I can hold for an edge for a bit uh, this way, but. Being at 36% is not great. These guys at least at 51. Um, so I'll take that and try to get these guys to refit a bit. Good uh, hit by the uh, Hungarians there. Holy smoke, that was very nice. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm impressed by that attack, even though it took all the engineers. Um, huh. Hmm. This is super weird, but if I can do it this way, then so be it. These guys are weak, obviously, but... Let's see, maybe we can snag a division or two. Uh, like I said, this is mostly just disruptive. Um, but besides that, I, I tend to, well, okay, didn't expect them at 6,000 to be that low. That's kind of weird. What is their problem then? Oh, really? There is only one TOE for Luftwaffe Field Division, right? Yeah. They do get bigger, though, which is interesting, too. Mm. Sad. Sometimes you see good opportunities and it just doesn't really materialize into a route and that kind of sucks, but Whee! it did there. These guys could use a little bit of a refit. Um, yeah. 
So there. It's a lot of AA regiments. This is better because then they cannot take either of those hexes in one go. Alright, I think I kind of know where to put them now. I'm missing a core for these guys. I'll be sending them there. I call it these. <clears throat> Forty second. Taking those. And since they are still overburdened, I'll have you go under the 40 seconds, they'll take off one. And you two. Put 42nd at 9, these guys at 6, but it means. Oh shit, it, that didn't matter because they're both on our group. Ah, uh, crap. That was dumb. Well, for some reason I thought they were in that army. I have no clue why. Um, <clears throat> I have the Arab. Special purpose battalion. What can they do? What can they do? Moving them up here. Eh, I can get them to Salsk so and kind of hold there for the bit. And I thought I had another infantry here, the 302nd. Okay, um, the reorganization that I was talking about, Army Group B has 83, 
you have a hundred. Oh. should help a little bit um, at least in this hex they might take back the other one Anyway, you're at one hundred and five. I'm a group A. Put you on the first Panzer Army, which then has one division too many, but it's not that bad, and I can take care of it. So, first things first the Cavalry Romanian Corps, one, two, three, four, five, with back with the HQ. Secondly, Seventh Romanian Corps is under the Fourth Romanian Army, which can still technically take one more, so it's not that big of a deal. These guys are currently part of Third Romanian Army. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That wouldn't be good, but that and there is the first those two combined have everything there and there's only this unit um, what are you part of there is another Romanian core here under the third Romanian army aha uh -huh. okay so let's do this you're under the sixth you should be under the sixth. Six Romanian, six Romanian, there we are. Everything up here then is under the sixth Romanian. And that means, except these. One, two, three, four, five. I can do this. All right, that's the Romanians. Now, fourth Panzer, let's take a look. The 24th Corps. And 17th Corps. And 
and the 40th Panzer Corps. Do I have another core in there? I think I do. The 4th. So currently, 4th Panzer is not overburdened. They can actually take two units. And the f you know, they should relieve one. So currently, if I put you under the 40th, and make sure you're no longer overburdened, I can take one more unit, which relieves Sixth Army slightly, if I can find it. Yeah. Um, so let's take that Discord. Fourth. Put you under the fourth. Now let's send him to Kalach. Try to give him some reinforcements. Emphasis on try. So fourth core has stuff there. Let's move them one down. Then I want Scherner to take the infantry up there. Just the eighth. there. Then we'll have Sixth Army move down one hex. The Eleventh will take care of holding Stalingrad. Um, Fifty first. Fuck. Oh, shit. That's really fucking bad. That is really, really, really bad.
Well, I done fucked that up. God fucking damn it. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Well, if I lose it now, it's my own fault. You can't take back reorganizations, so. If it goes down to hell, it's my own fault. Army group done. There we are. Why would I not have a depot in Vornish itself? I mean, I can do that now. That uh, does seem to be the best solution for now. And then out here, there are. Where's this place? Now, the one thing that I want to look for here now is this. We only have three, four, and five. FBD one and two are nowhere to be found. But I cannot move those from Norway. 
these are finished construction battalions. So, you know, I would really like to move these labor units, but, but I can't. So, let's uh, go all the way down. This is on the map. Um, what is AR? Access reserves. This is on the map. Map. Okay, so we do only have those three. I think that's it. So let's um, let's go. Now there's a 0% chance that this will hold, um, but I did cut them off for a bit, so they are quite disrupted, I hope, at least for the moment. I just really hope that with that uh, misstep up here, Stalingrad will still hold. I guess I really done fucked that up. into turn nine, January 13th. Winter is then about halfway there-ish. By that point. Yeah, they retook that hex. Makes sense. Just like these hexes that they lost. Casually there. Getting the rail line here from Orel down. Technically, also not even that bad. The thing that I find craziest is that the Germans actually got to places like, like Yelets in 1941. Like for me, especially the area to the east of Tula, but above Orel, like this area, it's just a bit hard to grasp that they actually got a significant portion there. Um, I'm not even sure whether they got those two places, but the Germans got a lot further than you'd think. So, I mean, they did capture, for example, Stalinogorsk.
They do attack every now and then. That's interesting though. A tank core. I wonder how they got that there. Such weird attacks. Oh, for fuck's sake. How did they even get it to, uh, they had 33 and... Like these attacks are really not good for me, even though I held there, like this is hurting me a lot. Yeah, obviously. 80,000. Obviously. Sometimes, not to be a dick, but like, how can they still move after that even? Oh, they hit 21, that's a lot. Okay, just stop attacking Stalingrad, please. With that fucking hex. Is that a really necessary? Maybe I just cannot see it now, but. Interesting too to see their supplies. Hmm. Seems like they did go into those hexes somehow. That did not go very well.
Those kind of attacks where I take more losses than they do, despite me having a higher number, are very interesting. It must be because of low ammunition. Okay. That sucks. No, they're not even taking any losses. I might not have any ammunition here. And they're just taking pot shots at my troops. Shut. Seems like putting that infantry division there paid off. Hmm. Pretty interesting to see them attack with units that have, at least for a turn, been cut off. Very decent prevented them from breaking through here any further for now. Can't say that I'm displeased with that at least. Although there are plenty of things to be displeased about, I suppose. Let's just see what they do with. The create frontline um, turn here, as I believe that's where we've come to be about. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look here. So once again, 0.674 for us, losses, almost 40,000 men, 600 guns, 180 tanks. If we look at the map itself, this turn, theater boxes went down by 41,000. We got 20,000 more troops on the map this turn, though, than we lost. I... Uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything there. 
Anyway, Soviets have 42,000 less, 1,800 guns less, 25 tanks less. Um, events, unconditional surrender. Code, name, code named symbol. The Casablanca conference was held at the Anfa Hotel in Casablanca, French Morocco from January 14th through the 24th of 1943 in attendance were President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Premier Joseph Stalin had decided, declined to attend, citing ongoing major military operations requiring his presence in the Soviet Union. The conference conducted a unified statement of purpose, the Casablanca Declaration, which announced to the world that the Allies would accept nothing less than the unconditional surrender of the Axis powers. Roosevelt had borrowed the term from Ulysses S. Grant, the Union general who had communicated this, uh, this stance to the Confederate commander of Fort Du Nelson and Fort Henry during the American Civil War. In a February 12th radio address, Roosevelt explained what he meant by unconditional surrender. We mean no harm to the common people of the Axis nations, but we do mean to impose punishment no attribution upon their guilty barbaric leaders. That the war would be fought by the Allies until the total annihilation of enemy forces was not universally welcomed. Diplomatic insiders were critical that such a stance was too unequivocal and inflexible, cancelling out any opportunity for political maneuvering and morally deliberate de debilitating geez, to French and German resistance groups. Um, Right, let's take a look. This held, this held. At least that's worth something. Right, these guys are somewhat weaker. That's nice at least, and these guys didn't see like any combat afterwards. I guess they broke out of that. And they encircled these uh, somehow. This didn't stick, but it didn't need to. I'll now move inwards to tighten the noose around this here smaller pocket. This is still a bit weird, but is this light? What's okay? Seems like they allow me to take more territory in here. Might even do a little encirclement here, and even a little ens encirclement here. This is weird. They basically waltzed in on this, and now it seems like they will allow me to move further again. This helped, but they had a lot of supplies. So. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting turn, but I, I think that went quite favorably. I mean, it was very obvious that that was not going to hold, and I didn't really have any chance to hold that, really. Um, the most problematic part, though, is that they lowered Stalingrad to a level of two fort, which means that I'll have to put more fortifications in there. Almost looks like they have slightly less forces in here. Almost. But this battle is not over yet, as long as we have the initiative. I will fight tooth and nail in order to uh, <laughs> advance wherever I can. Um, seems like the Soviets have also reached my first offensive line down there. Um, can I? Oh yeah, I can. So I'm a 14. It does not look great. Um, the first actual victory points here are Maycop. Um, if we... Uh, no, I need to look at the flags. Cannot... Oh yeah, here we go. I have to zoom out a bit here because of the... So Krasnodar and Maycop are 10 points. Those are the things to look out for down here. Obviously with the encirclement of the forces in these two smaller pockets, Maycop is a little bit more secure here for the moment. Right, I'll be uh, wrapping things up. Uh, thanks for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. Special shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Boomer Outage, Bastard, see the swords mending on Tomislav Schlin. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you next time. Bye bye.